right, welcome to UK Casuals. Today we have uh, we have Gilly Shaw back for a part two for his England memory stories. Um, so as I always start off, um, how are you today, Gilly? I'm okay, Matt. Thanks. I'm okay. Yeah, Keep thank you. Outside, but I'm okay. Yeah, thank you for coming on the show today. Um, obviously the the, the World Cup um is is up and running. And last time I interviewed you was about your time with Wolves, about your club. So this time it's it's about country. Speaking about this current World Cup, how do you feel about it being held in Qatar and all the rest of it? I think it's all, it's all money, mate. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah. it's all money. It's all money, money, money out there. Brown yeah. envelopes behind the back to the FIFA. It, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's brown envelopes, padded brown envelopes given to whoever it needs to be given to. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're absolutely right, Gilly, and uh, and you're not the only one to think that. Um, and I just think that. Uh, I mean, it's exposed. I mean, look at the prices of the the hotels. And, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, the points, I mean, now, my mates out there, they're stopping at a golf club. Right. You know? They're a golf club, and, and then you've got to be registered there, you got to be in there, and they're charging, like, £9 a point. That's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. And and I've heard that the, that the cheapest room is £250, and the dearest room is £1,000. So, yeah, that's right. I mean, you got all them dudes, these um, what what am I? These floggers will go over there and yeah. look for oh, that dog. What's his name? That dog dad and whatever his, whatever his name is. Right, they're not idiots. They get well, they do YouTube. They get rooms for nothing, sponsored, and they ain't got a clue. I mean, I mean, I mean, there's one good thing. There ain't no women commentators, is there? <laughs> no, no, no. Do, do, and to be fair, that that with that the World Cup being held in Qatar, there was always going to be politics brought up, you know, with the the heart armband and stuff. You know, do you think that uh, Harry Kane should have wore that armband and risked a yellow card? Or do you think England were right to back down? And... Well, to start off with, when we played the Yanks, who took the knee? We did. Did they? Yeah. They never. Exactly. Right? They started it, the fools. Yeah. Taking the knee. Right? So why are we carrying it on? Uh, I yeah, didn't I... Yeah, no, I couldn't agree with you more, Gilly. And I think our viewers that are watching us now will be saying, why is the knee still being taken? Right. No. I'm not racist. I'm, right. I'm not racist. I'm, I'm certainly not homophobic. But what I'm just trying to say to you, dude, I think wearing this arm bad is, right, is absolutely pathetic. Yes, right? I agree. Right. Right, checking the knee. Fools, absolutely Don't you signalling, yeah. Because the, they're all hypocrites. Yeah, yeah, of course. They're all hypocrites. Yeah. Because when they got the a bit of a bit of beer down them, they're all saying this, that, and the other. I mean, but they're all hypocrites. It's all done for money, isn't it? And and of course for, it is. And for appearance and. And for their brand, um, I think. Okay, so we'll we'll move on from the current World Cup. Like, uh, just just uh, a last word from me, and and I don't. You'll probably would agree that the World Cup should never ever have been held in Qatar. Um, it's, no, it's no, 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 yeah. It, oh, right. it, it was a joke from start to finish. And like you say, brown envelopes got passed. Um, 
And like you say, money talks, bullshit walks. And that's why everybody knows why it's being held in guitar. It's no that's secret. Gonna be, that's going to be even worse than what in America and Canada. You think it'll be worse? Yeah. Yeah, you think there'll be more virtual signaling um, and, and all the stuff going on? You only get a good World Cup when it's in Europe. Yeah, I, I I agree. I think Eric Cantona um said it at the very beginning when he found that was when it's been held in guitar. He said, I'm all for World Cups being held in non footballing countries. He said, but Qatar uh, has got you know, it's got nothing to do with football. There's there's no reason for it to be held in Qatar. There's there's no lasting legacy, um, you know, and I have to, and, and I completely agree with him. You know, I just, like you say, it, it's just, unfortunately, the modern game is all about money. Um, and you totally, have to, it's totally, it's totally, yeah, you, you have to put it's up totally with brown it. envelopes. Yeah. I mean, Budweiser. <laughs> <laughs> I know they've sponsored the tournament and, then two days before the tournament, um, Guitar uh, announced that <laughs> that you can't buy alcohol over there. It's it's only in certain areas. It's it's absolutely, you know, this World Cup is going to go down as an embarrassment. I mean, they've got a fan zone outside the stadiums, and they're all drinking coke, coffee. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, it's ridiculous. Um, okay, Gilly. Um, We'll come off the current World Cup and I'd like to speak to you um, about when um, you first followed England. So can you remember your your first England game, mate? Away or at home? Um, uh, you, can, you can do away and... Uh, no, sorry, you can do home and then away. First one was um fucking number right was uh ninety three uh Holland right okay so that was that was the era of Van Basten and Ruth Gullet and yeah um, and all the rest of it um and then so so can you remember the actual first tournament that you went away to follow England uh. At home, uh, I don't know, it was uh, at home, 96, I think it was. At home, Euro that would, 96. That would have been the Euros, wouldn't it? With uh, football's coming home, Bedil and Skinner, yeah. um, and Gaz's goal against yeah. Scotland um, and stuff, which was, to me, that, that, that was... Um, that was a fantastic Euros. Um, oh, yeah, I would love good. to have gone to England. Um, I would love to have gone to England in games. All right. So now, what I want to ask you is, when you went, a, when you was, um, when you was going to watch England in certain countries, um, you get a lot of lower clubs that follow England because they don't get their days out at Europe. Um, yeah. Was there a lot of club rivalries that came up between the English, or did you stick together? Well, it's like um, oh, my mate said from Burnley Pot, good lad. Yeah. Uh, and about saying, like he said, if there's nothing to fight out there, uh, you turn against yourself. You want That's to pop when it. club rivalries arise. You want to pop, yeah. Your, your local rivals, yeah, yeah. It's, and like, it... it's like we all went to. Um, we had a right firm. We we went to um, Bulgaria the once, and we stopped in a place called Sunny Beach, and it was just coming on the map then, nineteen ninety, not no, nineteen ninety, nineteen ninety nine. Sorry, right. And uh, the game was in Sofia. 
and it was a seven hour drive. When we got there, there was about 25 Albion. Not our lot, but Albion in cell cell. So, same old cell. And the, about 30 of our lot went the day before. And the, and the, the, the rest of all our lot, about 40, was going the next day. Well, some of our lot pinched their flag and we, and they couldn't take it. I mean, got Bernard and all them from West Brom. I'll get on with him now because we're older. And we, oh, of course, we, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, John, I mean, he's a great man. I mean, you saw him on that Italian 90 on that program on Channel 4 the other night. He was on the floor. Well, he follow, he's a black lad. Well, mm-hmm. He follows England. There's, there weren't many then, you see. But he followed them all over the place. You've got to give it to him. Yeah. Like, yeah everywhere. Yeah. Right? Everywhere, everywhere. Anyway, he was with his missus and all that. And the, the fear of God was in them. And they made them leave the hotel. They left the hotel. And we took out. But when we got there, the same night we got there, walking down the street, we had a fucking mad riot with, with um, Burnley. Right, okay. A fucking riot, they had a fucking everybody. Yeah. Right? And then uh, when we got to Sofia, the the um, national police, the uh, spotters, one of them come over to me and Paul Abbott. He went, "Oh, Gilly Shaw, uh, Paul Abbott. We've been looking everywhere for you two. Right? I mean, he said, uh, "What's been happening in uh, Surrey Beach then?" And things like, "I've been laughing at them like that." I thought we we had a rope. We had a right mob there, no. Yeah, you were marked. You, you, you were a marked man. Um, just quickly, um, before, um, we end, um, I would, look, I would like to ask you, uh, because obviously we're talking about the past now, because you're not involved anymore. Um, no, I haven't been all season. I haven't been all season. No. But what was? What was the best firms, as in countries, you came up against back then? You mean country, a different country? You mean? Yeah, countries. Yeah, you know who, what you know, what countries gave England the best go? You know, was it Germany, Holland? You know, Sweden? No, no we destroyed everybody. England ruled the roost. <laughs> we, 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 we took the piss wherever we went. The, uh, the Dutch. Now, when we went over to the Dutch, I mean, I have never seen a bigger firm in my life than England that day. Right. That, that, it must have been 5,000 lads. It, 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 let me explain to you if I got... Um, it was all lads. There was no dickheads wearing England tops. No, it was... Yeah. It was I lads. That, yeah. Everybody. Staffers. I mean, there was old... In old room, they had a the right little firm. There was... Portsmouth proper biggest firm I've seen. Six five seven, yeah. yeah. Interviewed a couple Chelsea, of them. PPR, yeah. everybody, everybody in his cock was there. You know what I mean? It was there. I mean, we were stopping with in Amsterdam with some Mansfield lads, and uh, there was I was with Gary Painton, and we flew from East Midlands with. British Midlands, no, you know how far that 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 was gone. Right, yeah. And then uh, we got there, and it it was unbelievable. It was going mad. It was going mental all the time, and um, we all like, split into groups. But everywhere you went, there was a mob of English, about three hundred, four hundred. So if you got mixed up with lost with them, you get with them. Yeah, and yeah. Like, it didn't it matter where you want. want. There was always. Yeah. Because we had all long hair, curly long hair, the films, <laughs> with kangaroo tracksuit, kanga, yeah. right, with tracksuits on. And, and uh, sometimes, I mean, you could. You, you, they, they was getting fucking mullered everywhere they went. I mean, and then like the Italians, the, the Italian. Uh, 
when we went to Raoul in 97. I mean, Villa had a good mob there with Fowler and all that. Yeah. yeah. I'll get on with Fowler from Villa. Um, there was there was mobs everywhere. Uddersfield had a firm. There was like Burnley. You can't not, but Burnley took a firm all the time. I mean, to, I mean, but they, Blues, I mean, I don't know about blue. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying anything about blues because I don't believe really personally. Everybody says, "Oh, Zulus is silly." We fucking take the piss out of Zulus. They've done nothing to Wolverhampton for 25, 30 years, and that's the truth, right? That's the gods. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll I wouldn't take lie. Your I wouldn't, word I wouldn't for that, lie. Kitty. Right? Um, I wouldn't lie. I wouldn't lie, right? West Brom have done more than them, right? right. The only team that comes to Wolverhampton at that, at that stage, because we was in the low leagues, was Stoke or Cardiff. Uh, Cardiff every year came, do you understand me? Because they was in the low leagues. You can't not Cardiff. Cardiff was coming on massive, massive. And we was going to their massive swans in the low leagues and things like that. And mm. like, or just and you got like, like Northampton and like Plymouth, good friends with Plymouth, massive Mike Lever and Danny yeah. Robinson, and yeah, great lads, great lads, and things like that. And then, I mean, you all, when we go to the games, like Plymouth will meet up with us, and then you got Oxford will meet up with us. You know what I mean, and we've got a little firm over there. And our little firm won't mix with them over there. No, I, I, yeah. On I, our own. yeah. No, I can you know I mean? We won't mix with them. Yeah. They're fucking yeah. dicks. But they I mean, but it's a lot, of, a lot of cockney, a lot of cockneys don't mix with the northern clubs and, and all the things like that. Now, I mean, we, we, we've got on with Luton. We had a big row, massive row with Luton on top a few years ago. I was there like, I can't say nothing else. But it, it was, yeah. And we got friends with Dante. Oh, Dante. Good yeah, yeah, Dante. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good president. But he's a spot on bloke, brilliant bloke. And a few yeah. like, bats from the great bloke, great lad. I mean, I went down to his, his birthday uh, party. We had the row with him about four weeks there. Four weeks later, I was down his birthday party with Abbo. With Abbo. I've travelled like all the way said, to Lake Gilly, and um, Like you said, Gilly, you know, as as time's gone on and and the older you get and you're not involved anymore, you know, uh, apart from your local rivals that are really close to you, you do get respect, like you said, for Plymouth. For Cardiff, for Stoke, for other clubs that you can now sit down and have a drink with, it uh, yeah, like, it's like Jasper from Stoke. I've got all the time in the world. I'd love to. Uh, they'll fire me up. All right, how you do? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Because I was poorly. I like, had I had cancer. Yeah, and we'll give me a twenty seven percent chance to live it. I beat it. Yeah. Wow, beat. fantastic. Yeah. Right. Come back, I'll be back. Right? But there's always a chance of it coming back. Well, I'll beat, I'll beat the fucking thing. Yeah. Right? And, and all, yeah, and, and, and all fair play to you. Right. I'll beat to the be fucking fair, thing. Um, to Mark Jasper Chester, he, I've been speaking to Mark um, recently. He's going to be my opening interview um, for next year. Um because to speak to, he is such he's such a great guy, isn't he? You know, I I, I can't speak highly enough about. Uh, listen, listen. If you got listen, if you got respect for the man, you got respect. Them all been up the road, right? Yeah. They have deep down. They know they've got respect for me because that. I mean, for right, for instance, we had under twenty three. I got the ticket there. <laughs> I found it too. And we had an under twenty three game, right? And Wolves took four thousand, right? It was a, a 
And we, I thought, I'm going to go there. I'm just going to go there, right, with about 15 of us on a minibus. We purposely got out on the main road right by there. They showed us, right, they shouted, Oi, wolves, right? I went, here we go, right? <laughs> Next week, you know, you got about 200 of them round us. Now, bear in mind, there's 15, then there was about 80 and we stood there. I went, well, what are you going to do? You know what I mean? Well, come on, man. That's how it happened. happened. And they wouldn't because it's me. I ain't no fighting man. I ain't not the best man in the world. But they'll know I won't go nowhere. You, exactly. Right? exactly. They'll probably slide one on me, but they wouldn't come towards you. No. It's okay, it's like... Gilly, I'm going to have to... Um... Cut it short there because the, the time's going to um no gonna problem. Away in a minute. Um, so thank you very much for the interview. That's been Gilly Shaw, part two.